Hello everyone, this is Scott from DailyExpression.com. Today we're looking at advanced mobile care for your Android device. And this is actually the same program that you would be using on your mobile device. And we're using it on my desktop, which is quite an unconventional method. It does have some limitations because Bluestack Flare is not a physical Android device. And so things such as scanning and antivirus apps would cause issues if I am not careful. But we're going to jump into the features real quick and then click up here, click to preferences. We're going to quickly set this up in a way that you'll understand. Make sure you choose your language. If you want to turn off the icon, you can click right here. Or instead of the mobile, you can just show your power status. Either one. Uh, or you can just turn off the icon all together. I prefer to leave it on. Um, ignore list is going to set up programs and junk files to ignore. I can't show you those specifically because I do not have junk files that this program would be able to find. Advanced Mobile Care does come with a pro version that includes deep scanning, scheduled scanning, I improved antivirus, and much more. Um, if you have the paid version, make sure you do deep eraser and scheduled eraser and do it every night at midnight is recommended because that is generally when you'll be sleeping unless you're a night owl. Of course, then you'll want to turn it off or not, it really depends. Customize your scan objects, all of these should be enabled. Go to your antivirus, make sure your install protection is on and real time updating would be on if you have the pro version. Anti theft, you have to first in allow the item to be a device administrator, which we're not going to bother doing because it's going to cause issues. But, yeah, I don't know why I clicked that. But you will turn it on and simply, whenever, it, simply what will happen is you give it device administrator and then it cannot be uninstalled or affected without something removing its administrator privileges. Uh, for game speeder, you can do um, you can allow vibration, so when the app activates, your phone will vibrate, and you can create a shortcut on your home page. Your privacy privacy locker hasn't been used. Please go to the privacy locker to create a password. This will allow you to password lock certain things, which we'll get into. Task killer, you can do auto kill. Auto kill, I can't set up on here, but auto kill, you can do it whenever your screen turns off, every 10 minutes, every hour, every one hour, or every four hours. This will greatly improve your battery life, and you can also stop it from deleting, from turning off essential programs such as Facebook Messenger, other messaging apps that you can have. So like here, the one task that we have ignored is mobile care. There's no junk files for it to protect or privacy files. So you want to set up your ignore list of programs that you know that you will want. And you can have it show a tip or if you're more or if you're more than capable turn off the tip. Call an SMS blocker allows it to block calls and SM and text messages from people that you do not know. Your block list, you basically on pop-up, if you receive a text from someone that you do not know, it'll have, an it'll have an option. Do you wish to block this number or do you wish to allow it? And then the message will go through. Generally, it can be quite annoying. In, I, I mean, it's recommended to be in enabled. Um, other than that, you're pretty much on your good uh, on the smart side. Missed call pop-ups, if you miss a call, it'll give you a pop-up. Uh, in, in Android KitKat, you are actually unable to block calls like that. Um, it's call blocking has been an issue even in Avast Mobile Security. They aren't able to do it. It has to do with the way that KitKat and the Jelly Beans were built. Block module, block numbers in my block list, allow numbers in my allow list, allow, block, keep it default. Block list, you can add any numbers that you want. Allow list, you can allow certain numbers that will not be blocked by advanced mobile care. Battery saver, remind for a low battery, turn that on. Because some people do not realize it. Okay, now we can jump into the actual things that the program offers. You are offered an antivirus built in. We can click on that right now, and you can, your real time protection. I'm not going to bother performing any scans or checking for database updates. But real-time protection, as we've already established, you only have install protection and real-time update. However, you also have browsing protection. So your browser is safe while using advanced mobile care. Security zone is your 
Uh, it's basically a security audit. It says, okay, you have your surfing protection on. Yes. It'll protect this browser. That's it. That's all the browsers that I have. It supports other browsers such as Chrome, blah, 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 but we all know what the browsers are. Anti phishing will, is phishing scams will try to steal private information. Uh, you have to pay to unlock that. And security audit will audit your device and say, okay, your Wi Fi is insecure, your screen lock is insecure, your GPS is insecure. Yeah, I, I, none of these things are actually on. It, it doesn't quite know what this thing is, so it's going to cause some issues. Your app manager will allow you to manage running apps. Like, here we go, Un we can uninstall uh, the Insta. We need all this stuff. This is also a great way to actually use Instagram on your computer. Move these files, APK files, just you can uninstall apps from there. Privacy Locker allows you to set up passwords for certain apps. So you can set up a private, you can just set up a password locker over here, which is great considering apps like a lot of other mobile and security apps will actually cause you to pay for that, which is kind of lame. Giveaways, it gives, it gives away software, U plus IOBits, Advanced Mobile Care. Hey, I wasn't done reading. Ugh. I don't know what we just did, guys. Don't want to do that. Go away. Ah. Okay. As I said, this thing's kind of clunky. But you can get free mobile apps from them. After they partner with people, they'll send free mobile apps pretty much on the daily. Basically, giveaway of the day right there. Game Speeder, we've already covered. It will improve the performance of your games by cutting off processes that are no longer needed before it starts. Task Killer is a task manager. Every Android phone pretty much has them. Um, privacy Advisor will scan your apps. And ad applications are adver or applications that are using advertising networks. Ones that you do not want are actually air push ads were pushed off the store. But um, ad applications, let's see what four ad applications I have running. Coin Dozer, Clash of Lords, One Mobile Market, and Swift HD Camera. And these ones just cause permissions. So we have ones that are using ads, but that does not mean they're malicious. Colin SMS blocker, we've already beaten in the ground. Battery saver, you can actually con configure. Uh, before we enable it, just go to custom settings. Recommended settings while you're at home. Turn your brightness down all the way or on auto. Preferably all the way down. Uh, no airplane mode. Keep your Wi Fi on. Turn the sound down. Mobile data off. Auto sync off. Bluetooth definitely off and improve sleep. If you're going to charge your device, Make sure your brightness is at its lowest, turn airplane mode on, turn everything else off, and keep the screen powered off. It's best if you're going to charge your phone though to have the device actually off while it's charging. So charge it overnight and have the device turned off. I know if you get text messages it may be a pain or you get messaged in the middle of the night, but that's going to be the fastest way to charge your device. Your anti-theft module will allow you to set up uh, an anti-theft by giving another number. Alarm, get your location, delete data. If you go to m.iobit.com, it'll actually track your device for you, which is really good. It will make sure you always have an eye on your device, especially if you lose it. You want to get that device back because your phone has a lot of information. Even Avast did a recent thing where they took Android phones that were supposedly wiped and bought them off eBay and they found several hundred photos, inappropriate photos, of men and women in various stages of being undressed and it wasn't. Don't be stupid. Your phone has a lot of information and if you haven't, you, you can set this thing to wipe it, but it isn't a self-destruct button. There is no real self-destruct button until that data is Basically, on a hard drive, you have one and zero. If your hard drive reads a one, it means that the space is filled. If it reads a zero, that means the item can be put in that space. 
if you delete an item off your hard drive, it's not really gone. It just shows that that one that was there is now zero, which means it's now writable. They can now write in that space. It's not completely deleted off the hard drive until that zero, until that one was turned to a zero, and that zero now becomes back to a one, because then it rewrote the information that was there. What happens when you delete it, it just deletes the directories and the pointers to the file that did exist. So by not just, you, you have to rewrite your hard drive. Um, wiping the free space on programs like CCleaner is actually pretty effective. What it basically does is it will fill the space with a bunch of empty documents and fill it up. It'll rewrite the zero to a one and then delete it. And it can do that several times over. And even then, it's still technically possible to retrieve the data. But the more times it's done, it's basically the only real way to ever fully delete it is to destroy the hard drive. So be careful what it is you do with your hard drives and mobile devices because someone can always try and find the data. But the last thing that you have is cloud backup, and cloud backup will allow you to back up your context and call logs to IOBIN. They're in they're unaccessible by anyone on there. They're in, they I believe that they told me that they were encrypted and they're safe up there in the cloud and they will not use the numbers for any malicious purposes. Because some people think that they would. I've never had that issue. And I have several hundred contacts. No one ever messaged me though. Come on, people. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video. If you have any questions, comments about advanced mobile care, put them in the comments below and I'll make sure to get to them. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.